Hi everybody, do you like cooking for your cat as much as I love cooking for my rags? Me and Rags have another recipe for you this week for chicken liver crunchies. It's a really easy recipe to do and Rags absolutely loves them. So if you want to learn how to make chicken liver crunchies, just carry on watching. Okay, so for this recipe all you're going to need is one half cup of cooked chicken livers, one quarter cup of grated carrots or sweet potato. I'm using sweet potato because it's really good for cat's digestion. One half cup of warm water, one tablespoon of vegetable oil, one and a quarter cup of wholemeal or whole grain flour, and one half cup of plain flour and one half cup of catnip mixed together in a little mixture for when you roll the treats out. Okay, so first, the first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 180 degrees and line a baking tray with a cooking sheet. Okay. You're going to need a food processor or a blender with this um, to make sort of a puree. Okay, so into the food processor we put our cooked chicken livers, our grated carrot or sweet potato, again I'd be a sweet potato, and the water. And process that up until it is in um, a thick paste. Okay, so once that is combined, pour it into a bowl. Add the oil and the flour. Use a spoon, mix it up into a sticky dough. Once the dough is combined, it'll be, it'll be combined like this and a little bit sticky. Take the flour and catnip mixture and then using a rolling pin, roll out the dough until it's about a quarter of an inch thick. Okay, so once the dough is rolled out, take your baking tray and a cookie cutter and cut out the dough into little treats and put them on the baking tray. Okay, so just before you put these in the oven, take a knife and score them twice, sort of into little quarters. This will make it easier to portion these treats when they're cooked, so that you'll be able to snap them into four little pieces. Okay, so they're all scored, and initially these are going to go in the oven for about five minutes. Okay, after five minutes, take the treats out of the oven and just flip them over. And put them in the oven for another five minutes. Okay, and there we have it, our chicken liver crunchies. Make sure that they're completely cool before you give them to your cat, and they can be stored in an airtight container in the refrigerator for about ten days. Thanks for watching guys, I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did give it a go, please let us know in the comment section below, or tag us in our social media at at relaxmycat. And now for our competition winner. Rags decided that Anne Bear for Freedom was a clear winner this week with a message from their cat Bubba, who not only shared a great tip on keeping cats hydrated with strategically placed water bowls around the house, but also treated Rags like the queen that she is. Thanks Bubba. Get in contact with us at relaxmycat at gmail.com with your address and we'll send your prize out to you. Congratulations, you have won at this Feather Con cat toy for your cats. We really, really hope they enjoy it. Don't worry if you didn't win the competition, we do have another one this week. For your chance to win this really cool electronic cat toy, either share your best cat care tips in the comment section below, or any recipes you think me and Rag should try. Thanks for watching guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up, and if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. And me and Rex, we'll see you next week. Did you enjoy them Rexy? I'm so sorry I didn't have any fava beans or Chianti to go with them. You'll just have to have the chicken liver crunchies on their own. <laughs>